All right guys, so my idea is some soft bags, soft panniers that will fit onto the racks that I've got with a quick release system. Um, the Givy Trekker rack, uh, the Monarchy. So I'm gonna make a set of soft panniers that will actually use the Monarchy system. So what I've got, I've been and bought these nylon heavy duty chopping boards. So they're gonna be my main back. I bought four of these, which is a 25 litre rock hiking rubber rucksack. Um, let's just assume you've out of touch. So these are a 25 litre rubber seal top roll bag for kayaking, hiking. As you can see, they're a nylon, they're like a rubber, they're fully waterproof. Um, you can blow them up, seal them up, they actually hold air as well, so they're watertight. Rubber, rubber sealed zip, that's the same as like on a, on a dry suit for water skiing or whatever that sort of thing. So they're not bad, 25 litres, but I didn't think 25 litres was going to be enough either side. So my theory is, is to double up, so I bought four. So we're going to have 50 litres either side. Alright guys, so what I'm trying to achieve is the mechanism on the back of the box, the lugs that sits onto the, the rack and the release system. As soon as you pull that, that releases down. So I've got to try and make a mechanism to go with that. Um, some lugs that I've got to, you can actually buy these but I've got a little special thing now that's uh, a nice toy I can play with. I'll show you that. Alright guys, so this is the toy I'm talking about. It's an Ender 3 3D printer. Which lets me make now what I want for the bike. Um, this stuff that's in there at the moment is um, PLA. Don't ask me what it stands for. I don't know, it's a different type of plastic. But I've been using PETG which is polyethylene uh, something glyco or something like that. Anyway, I'll put the link below anyway what it is. But it's like ABS, but it's a lot easier to print. So what we do is we design it on here. Well, not me personally, because I'm absolutely useless with this sort of stuff, but my son does it for me. So he's designed that lug that I just showed you. And then obviously we printed it out. Uh, and there's the... Uh, the arm lever locking thing that's uh, also printed. So yeah, the new toy in plastic. Okay, so that's the rack system I'm talking about. You've got these little pegs there where the pannier sits onto and then you've got this locking thing under here. They lock under there. So I'm going to try and make something that will fit this system. Alright, so that's the idea that I'm talking about. They're going to go onto the racks like that. They've got to be cut down to size obviously. They're way too big at the moment, but um, so yeah, we're going to put the brackets on, the clips on, the locking mechanism, and make them work. Okay, guys, so I'll show you what I've got. This is the thing I'm talking about. We printed. Um, this is in like a material. I think I mentioned it earlier. PETG, polyethylene. It's as tough as ABS, except you don't get all the fumes because we're printing in the house. Um, so yeah, it's, as you can hear, it's absolute solid. Um, and these are the shoes that I've made that will go onto those parts on the rack, which is the same as the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the pannier. So the theory is to put those on, which. As I say, mirror, mirror images, these two here, I think they're the same, exactly the same design. So those are going to get bolted onto the sheet there, which will sit on top of the hook onto the rack. And then we have this part here which is the one I just showed you on the printer. I need to clean it up. 
that's going to be that top bolt locking mechanism there. I've, if you can see, look, I've recessed that bit there. I've recessed that part there so I can put a piece of aluminium on there just so it's not rubbing on the plastic, it's um, rubbing on the aluminium. And then that sort of is that idea. And then that will there go up and down like so, which will be my locking mechanism onto the bike. This part here I'm going to extend up past, which will be the push button to release. Are you following me? I hope so. So, right, let's show you where we are. We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. This, as I say, this is going to get cut down when I know what size I want to do it. That'll be there, that'll be there. We'll have a, a push button key lock system that will lock it in place. That'll be drilled through there so that it locks in. So once it's locked in, you lock it in place and it can't come off. I've got some spring loaded bolts which is going to go into the bottom here. Just got to drill that out. So that there will give it the pressure down, like so. So that will be pressure up to lock it into that, and that will be the locker to stop it coming off. All right, you follow? Let's put it together. All right guys, so my centers on these are two hundred and twenty five millimeters. So that means these then have got to be 225 millimeters apart. Exactly the same. I'll get these marked out and come back to you. Alright guys, so I've set those. Zoom you in a bit. I've set those at 225 centers. I've come up 18 mil off the bottom just so I'm not drilling and screwing right next to it. Um, I've centered them all up, I've clamped them in place, I'm going to drill through these holes and put the bolts in. So the bolts I'm using are a 6mm, so I've put a 6.5 in the drill. I'm going to try that because we've got the square locking head on it. Um, if it's not, I'll just round it out to a little bit more, just so it's tight and locks on. Alright guys, I've just drilled the three out on the top on each one. I'm going to put the bolts in there. Take the clamps off, drill those other two. Um, by the way, this nylon chopping board, um, I thought about it, I was thinking, what can I use that's solid? So I googled, um, I did look into buying the Givy, I think they're called 709 Canyon Panniers, and the actual plate that comes with it, I think the Moscow Moto are exactly the same. The plate that you put on is made from exactly the same stuff, it's nylon which is very, very solid and robust. So hopefully we shouldn't have any dramas. All right, so I've just put them on. I'm gonna, I've got um, locking washers to put on there. I'll put the edge the other side because that's the side that's gonna carry the bags and I want that as smooth as possible there. So these have got some little ribs in them, which later on I might just grind down and just flush over just to stop it ripping on the bags. Or even put some rubber tape over it or something, but we'll look at that later on. Um, so at the moment, I'm just gonna put the nuts on just to hold it in place. I'm not gonna lock it down. I'm just gonna put these on, check all my measurements. I'm gonna mock one up first, do what I need to do before I assemble it all completely. All right guys, so I've got all those bolted on in place. I've just tried it on the bike and they absolutely fit fantastic. Slot in there, beautiful. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I'm going to the bother of doing all this part and the brackets and the release agent when I could just straightforward enough just put some four or six U-bolts straight through the frame into this. But I want to be able to swap between my hard panniers and my soft panniers very easily just with a, a lock clip. Um, just like I showed you on the pannier box earlier, whereas you just pop them on, lock, you're away. I want to be able to do the same with this, so if I need to you get to the tent and I want to drop, take the stuff off, I just push the button, take the whole thing off and take it to the tent, camping wise or whatever. Um, so that's my theory, 
as I say, you can. The, the Moscow Motos and those Givy Canyons I was talking about, they actually come with two parts where you bolt one to your frame and then it's got like a wedge system that wedges into it. I did look into that. It's a little bit more grief trying to fabricate it. So this is what I've come up with to be able to take them on and off pretty easily. I've now got to get my measurements from the top of these holes where they actually sit to the top of there where they actually lock under. These are going to be quite critical measurements. So as you can see, I need to measure the throw to the top of the throw to the top of there and then work out my release from there. Alright, so as I said, from there I'm going to get a square and project down. Rather than tilt, because if I tilt the ruler, because you, you can still make it, you see, that's, that's not flat, that's raised up. Can you see? That's raised up, so if I tilt the ruler down, that's going to give me a false reading. I need to be up straight, so hence the square to project down. Yeah, I'm just babbling now. 195 mil. Alright guys, so I've decided to do away with this idea, it's just not practical, it's too flimsy. By the time I've uh, fixed some aluminium to there, it's going to make that weak, the movement, I'm just not happy with it. I'm going to go upgrade and go and get some steel. Alright guys, so unfortunately <laughs> I've skipped a little bit, I got carried away. So what I did is I've gone to Bunnings, i got some tube, these are the offcuts. I've got a bit of flat knocking around in the garage, um, a bit of flat bar. I bought a bit of round um, 9mm bar and what I've done is I've made up these. So basically they're like a, a throw bolt, they're not that heavy, they are steel, I will paint them up. But because I'm cutting the weight down on the bags, it's, um, it's going to be cost effective I think weight wise. So yes, yeah, so I've gone ahead and knocked these up. So basically, like I say, it's a throw bolt stroke latch. So that will latch over the top of my bars. I'm going to install these and um, dry fit them. All right, so as you know, those clip on, like so. These then are going to fit on here. I've got to do a bit of um, sanding and filing and whatever. But I'm going to get this set up so that it goes like that and then it locks down. I've got to look into this, I might have to alter this because it's sticking out as an angle look so I've got to come a bit more flatter that way once it's locked on. As you can see now the those flaps lock over. One there and one there. And then the idea obviously is lift that which lifts those up and off so I'm going to have to get these altered alright guys so I've temporary mounted the, the locking bolt I've put this on and cut this out which is a stop basically let me show you so obviously the lock goes over the top of there but it can still lift up so that piece of other nylon that I've done, I've cut to that shape and that will sit under there and once it's pushed flat it can't lift up so that's a basically a stop and these uh, that rotor thing is going to be the lock alright so I've, I've bolted these on temporarily, I've put some glue under there as you can see so that I've bolted them through so it's gluing I will cut these down and flush them all over later on um, this is just to get it all a dry run I'll finish putting all the bolts in here um, I did originally make these to mount that way or get them printed up to mount that way 
but it was throwing me too far away from the actual frame so hence cutting these out and recessing them bolting from the back which are going to be behind the bags so that's pretty much it on the actual mechanism and the lift up system um, to lock them on I've got to come up with some sort of locking device here now um, once I alter this handle and um, find a way to lock this down in position so that it can't be just jump up and come off okay so I just put a bit of black paint on the back of them I've only sprayed them out a little bit you can see it's all patchy but I'm not bothered that's just the back side the other side I've left white that's going to be covered by the bags so I've altered these these handles I'm just going to um, finish linishing these down a little bit and then I'm going to paint them up so painted those um, I've just put one bolt in there I'm just going to start putting these on there uh, they're still a little bit wet but um, yeah I'm fed up waiting around like watching paint dry <laughs> um, so yeah I'm going to bolt these on Alright guys, so that's bolted on. I've made these little aluminium brackets, which is going to be the hole down there. So I've got to bolt them through and then I'll get some sort of, some sort of locking pin that will go through there. Um, an R clip or something, or, or make something up, which will stop that opening up once that's bolted through, which will keep these locked down. So we'll go and set that up. Alright guys, so I've just set that on the bike, so I've marked the other side, so there's a little bit of movement in that, but I've got exactly where I want it, so I'm going to sit that in there, leave myself a little bit hanging out there so I can get my finger under to pop up, so that's going to go there in my marks, just move that out the way slightly, and I'll drill through. Where I don't want it. All right, I'll show you what I did on the other one because the bolts a little bit short. So I've, I've drilled them in. Where are you? The bolts are a little bit short, so I've just countersink them a little bit so that the nuts are flush, and I will grind them off as well, flush them down, plus taking all these off again afterwards. So I'll drill the other side out and put the bolts in. All right, guys, so that's, that's the theory behind there. I'm just going to have to give this a little bit of a file and clean up because I'll put a lot of paint on that. Um, just give it a bit of a file, clean it up, line it up, and then um, work out this pin. On this side, I've got no Loctite. I've run out. Sorry, where are we? On this side, I've got no Loctite, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some super glue down in there. Um, just to make sure it don't come off and then I'll spray paint it, grind it, spray paint it and it's just going to glue it all together basically so that don't move there we go guys, I've just put a little bit of paint on there which is still wet but I've had to grind a little nick in there, in that bar which is no big deal so I'll get my pin through and I'm going to work out some sort of locking R clip something I've got some stainless bar um, so I'll work out a way that I can lock it on, but we're going to try this on the bike. All right, guys. So the theory is that goes on like that. We lift that up. That locks over. That goes down there. That goes into there. And we put that pin through there. I was just saying, I've got to make some sort of locking device for that. So let's uh, let's pull that up and give it a wobble. As 
there's a little bit of movement this side which is no big deal I've got some sticky back foam that I can put behind the here on these brackets that side's pretty tight by the look of that one so I can always trim these up where are we that one there you see that moving a little bit so I've got some sticky back foam as I say I can put behind that clamp there so there should be no no movement it don't come up and down because of that bolt piece we bolted underneath um, so yeah happy with that well, I'll just tidy it all up and then we're ready for the bags all right guys so I've put all the bolts in I flushed them all down obviously the bags have got to get fixed to this side but what I'm going to do is I've got some sticky back foam so I'm going to put a couple of rolls pieces across the top of the bolts one down the bottom there and um, yeah just to give it a bit of padding so it's actually not rubbing on the bolts all the way through so yeah I'll put a couple of pieces of those on be sure to subscribe to Wolf on the Run and don't forget to also check out our clothing range at the website here alright guys so there we go so the bags will sit up against this rod than rubbing against all these you know it's going to give it a little bit more protection anyway I am still down here but um, I'll flush these off a little bit more before we commit and put the bags on. Um, yeah, let's get the bags on. All right, guys, so what I did, I took that bolt out of there, look, and brought that back through. But I've just found some nice aluminium plates in my stock. So I'll put those on, and then I'm going to put the locking washer and the nuts, and that'll give you a nice clamping down there. All right, guys, so there we go. One set fixed on. Well, as you see I've put all the plates through there on the other side I've put the straps through and put the buckles back on that we cut off earlier I've riveted these on the little nut the other side so they can't come off and um, cut the straps down frayed the edges burnt them over so yeah nice and tight all there is to do now is try it on the bike I've still got to create a lock for that. So there we go. There we go. 25 litres each. Roll top waterproof bags. I'll, um, I'll load them up, put something in them, see what they look like. There we go, guys. I've just stuffed a couple of sleeping bags in there. Um, roll down pretty good. Obviously one side sticks out further than the other, but um, I'll put the big stuff in one side and the other stuff in the other so it balances it out and um, yeah, happy with that. Some lightweight bags. Here we go. There we go guys, finished, complete. I went for some little stainless loops like a keyring to hold that down. Just roll on but they are absolutely solid now oh, I've got to put a bit of foam behind there haven't I but yeah done it so that once you put the stuff in you can just tighten these straps here pull them there same there so once you've got your gear in the bottom there you can tighten up I suppose once I've um, sorted it out I'm gonna pack it these can get set wherever they are anyway um, but there we go, roll top dry bags, so that's a hundred litres, um, hopefully I might not need a top bag, but we'll see, we'll see. There we go guys, fantastic, all finished, all done, as you can see there we've got that little loop, so we just take that off like so, like a key ring, spin that off, take that off. Pull that lever up, and there she is. All done. I'm going to clean all these little bolts up, take the heads off, round them over, put a bit of paint on them. But 
that's basically it guys finished finished done there you go complete fantastic thanks for watching